time. Of Fallout doing his nerd shot with his goggles. <laughs> and here's where it gets graphic, folks. Here's where it gets graphic. <laughs> oh, man, Requiem. Cavills, it's too perfect. <laughs> Rah! High distortion, man. <laughs> uh, that's MBA. In the I'm going to go on board with the fathering. And uh, Carson is actually a former teammate of mine way before I even started competing when I just played really? online. So I'm a big fan of it. Carson. And uh, I don't mind him. It's just that... He gets a little too trolly sometimes. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. Relax. He's got a big mouth. Yeah, but he's, like we were talking about, personality in Gears of War is what, we, uh, what yeah. we're known for. Mm -hmm. So 10 seconds. I know you guys, kicking if we, off. If we do listen in and you guys hear cursing, I mean, we try to tell them to calm <laughs> down. But, I mean, honestly, there's only so much we can do. This is a, an M-rated game in the first place. Right, so right. A lot if you're of hearing blood. some cursing while you're, hearing, while you're seeing people explode, I mean, what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> I, even the characters curse in the game. It I'm gets raunchy sure. out there. Yep. There so right away. We got, prospect we got over the on the hill. Two members of the father pushing in. Carson's going to take out Fallout. They're pushing in on the hill. Nick backing up immediately. Throwing an ink. Don't know if it got anybody. Ink on him. He's weak. He's going to go down. He actually picks off Wreck while CDN kills Camille's with his ink. It looks like the fathering. No, I thought they were going to secure yes. that. CDN gets taken out. Now it's... Carson's in distortion and a 1v1 just holding the hill off. Alt, everyone's alive, but right now uh, I believe MBN is leading the kill count. Yep. But they're so. getting they're getting crossed from all angles oh, right yeah. now. Here no one go. has capped the hill yet. Fallout manages to grab nades. Camille's isn't able to get the kill yet. Oh, Camille's a and deadly wall bounce. Everybody Fallout. knows Camille's. He loves the bounce on those walls. CDM pushing in, trying to make something happen for his team right now. Actually able to get Fallout now in a 1v1 with Prospect. And Wreck nice with the cross. cross by Wreck right Beautiful there. Beautiful cross to the window. Out. So we're, I think we're going to see the first cap of the, of, the, of the map so far. Yep. It looks like the father is going to finally be able to secure this hill. They're going to need to now set up and spread out around the hill and so that it's not so easy. Right. Yeah, um, so it's not so easy for MBN to just push on through. Because here comes Fallout right now. That's going to back up, gets taken out by Wreck. Fathering goes making down. good work right now on King of the Hill. Nick Merck tries to make a play. He knows CDN is down, but yeah. he can't manage to get past Carson. And Fathering is looking good for this first hill. Yeah, looking good. But, I mean, the first hill isn't everything. They need to know as soon as it gets to a little under 20 seconds, yeah. they need to be moving out, setting up for the next in kill. We don't know if it's left or right, but they need to get out of that and hill and I not let MBN set up around them. Nick Merck with go. the mantle kick, and he cleans up the kill. Two dead now. So, yeah, right like now, uh, MBN's going to go for the break. They're going to set up. Watch. I'm going to go to the overhead map, and you're going to see them spread out. So right now on the right side, there's a 1v2. Let's see if we can get over there. Yeah. I mean, I know it's important to break that hill and get a handful of points, but now you let the fathering after you just wiped them out. You allow them to now spread out on those hills and have a chance right, of Right, right. So killing them right that. before the hill isn't always the best thing. Well, no, I agreed with that. That was good. But then, like, three of them moved into the hill. You only needed one guy to do right, that. Right, right, right. Yeah. Just break it. Don't yeah, even go for the cap. It. You don't need the cap. It was only six points. Well, I mean, they got 13. But so fathering in a 4v2, 4v1. That's what I'm talking prospects about. Prospects alive. Yep. Uh, four, all four dead right now. No, the three of them just spawned. So they spawned across the map. They're going to go for the break. And the fathering is going to have their second cap of the match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that, that's what I'm talking about. They allowed the fathering to push up on that last hill. So now the fathering is able to secure that. And they're setting up around the ink in that back hall. You got Camille's on the front door watching it so nobody They're can run pushing right the in. top hallway. This yeah. is what you have to do. You got to wrap around the hill. You can't push right in. Yeah, and here Carson's goes Nick Merck. I don't even know how he stayed alive that long. Prospect's going to pick him off. While Wreck on the side is able to get distortion. MBN having a lot of trouble right now breaking this in kill. And I think that's CDN back there holding it down in the back hallway. Yeah, yeah he's fighting a 2v1. Right now. A 2v1. Can CDN clutch it? Almost gets one. Oh. Goal, misses the shot. Nick's going to take him out. And Wreck's all alone. Wreck's yeah. going to go down. Wreck all alone. Carson's but there's two alive. Distortion. Here comes CDN and Carson's in the hill. And Carson, holding man. It down. Great job by the father. And they're about to go up 100 to 13. I thought MBN had broken the hill and killed them all but they spawned quickly they must yep. have had a quick spawn and uh just That's like it. that all of mbn is dead two just spawn hd and and i believe it is nick mercs are alive and they're yep. gonna have to wait a full 10 seconds let's before see, their teammates spawn see that kill count again let's see what's going on and Ooh. right now right uh, now the fathering is completely out slaying mbn which right, is definitely. complete opposite of what i would think would happen i mean mbn has a lot of individual skilled people it looks like the father is just stepping up. I mean, they're making it really hard for MBN to move up on any of these hills. They have transitioned so well from hill to hill. Distortion missing those shotgun shots. Camille's in the 2v1 one. situation. Bounce around. Here and comes here comes Caesar. Caesar. To help wow! What a headshot! The fathering right now. They are playing 
perfect and flawless. They can't get MBN's touched. trying the right things, but they're not executing. And right when I say that, Nick Merckx pulls a nice kill on Camille's. Let's see if he could stay alive back there. Right, He's Nick full red, fighting full against red CDN. Caesar. And shot. Caesar in a 1v1, and he gets another one. Beautiful play. Caesar is on point with his strafe right that now. That is scary. I have always said if Caesar is on fire, his whole team is on fire. That's how it works. Caesar is a Caesar is a glue that keeps that team together right now. And right now, as you could look at the score, 30 seconds left on this hill, this and they're already good. up over 100 points. I mean, the only thing that could change it for MBN right now. Don't even say it. The silverback. The silverback. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna assume that's gonna be the next hill too. CDN gonna get Nick, hop over, Camille's is and down. And the kick, right the where are you Camille's going, going HD? Gonna take out distortion while he mantles his teammate. So and they're coming from the backside. Securing the hill, and they are and already right transitioning away. to the next hill, which is gonna be Silverback. They but are the playing flawless. MBN with a great spawn. I believe my mic cut out. Yeah, our mic just got, there you go, that's better. All right, All right, so MBN with a great spawn. They spawn on the next hill, and I just heard the Silverback is up. So you could press there the button, silverback and online. the Silverback comes up 10 right seconds now, later. Right now, these teams need to be popping up those missile pods. I said all the time on King of the Hill, Russell, and those missile pods are huge for the gonna and the Silverback in general because right. it gives you cover to right. now secure the hill. So I'm going to say right now, MBN isn't in the best of positions because no. they don't have any cover back there. They're, they're stuck in those two corners right now. They can't move out. They have nothing to move in. The fathering oh, is not letting them Oh, but they're up a man. CDN with the nades. Let's see what Ooh, he can Nick do with nades. Carson. Let's get over to that hill, see what's going on. They're going to go for the cap. CDN's going to throw a nade. All right, I guess not. Yeah, it's looking and, like uh, uh, MBN, cap that, their yeah. first cap of the match, I believe. Yeah, they are not going to get the silverback because they are still not. Oh, never mind. Here comes the, the silver silverback. And he's the going down, pre push, pressing it. Prospect pushing the button. So that here comes the silverback. I'm excited. I can't wait to see some silverback play right now. MBN able to set up. Still no missile pods up, though. Fathering does not want to pop them for them. They don't want to give them any cover because they do not need it. The silverback is coming. Nade from CDN trying to make something happen. He probably should just pull the shotgun out right there. But he yeah. tried to get him with the grenade. And I'm going to go ahead and say right now, the silverback is live. At any moment, someone could run over to it and pick it up. And right Carson's when I say that, we get on Nick Merckx. And he gets Robert smoked out. On. Nick trying to make something happen with the silverback, but he gets smoked out. Wrecking a 1v1. Nick's wow. going to take him out. And now Nick's going to try and hop back One in more. the silverback. But here comes Camille's going to try and make something happen for his team. Nick Merckx, great, him great him job and slaying. Here he's going to get in that silverback. Here we Ten go. Ten seconds left in the hill. So the new hill should be right in this control room that Nick Merckx is looking next to. And we'll, we'll find out in a few seconds. Yeah, there we go. Get, let's get on that silverback, see what happens. There you go. Nick with a rocket going to take our wreck. We got some silverback action right now. I don't think the father really has an answer for it. They need to smoke it and disable it. And it has now moved to Moultrie Hill, I believe, with a silverback there. I mean, right. honestly. They're trying to smoke him. He's dodging to, smokes. You Great have job to by Nick. That. You're not going to be able to touch that hill with a silverback just sitting there. Well, the thing is, you have to shoot over that cover. Is he going to dodge the smoke? Oh, As he gets the kill, he really runs to the side. He's not able to dodge the smoke. But he's still able to take out Camille's, which gives his team the man. His Carson's on a great flank. Goes Carson's for the mantle kick, misses. Get he gets one. Nick doesn't see him coming. He's still Nick Merckx turns around. He's going to get a 1v1. No, great Nick's turnaround by out. Nick Merckx. Beautiful Merckx's. play by Nick right there. So right now, MBN is still down 100 points. The fathering has the, has the cap. Yeah, there's Nick oh, there's the break. Nick's playing great for his team, but here comes the father. He's in right trouble. The hill. He's in they trouble. Nice Camille's. movement by Camille's. Beautiful Way to get behind the, behind the meat shield. Uh -oh. And Prospect gets a nice kill. Double kill from Prospect. Yeah, there's Camille's. one on his back, though. Camille's HD and CDN rolled. in the middle. 2v2 in the middle. Oh, MBN's up 2-1-1. 1-on-1 one 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 between Wreck and Fallout. And he gets crossed. The team, his team spawned there, and the Silverback is live. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and say someone's going to hop in there pretty yeah, soon. Somebody's about to hop in that Silverback. Oh, here oh, it comes. And the Fathering the spawns there. Leave it there. Now Carson's is in it. And I heard only down. good things about Carson's Silverback play. Oh, and right away, he's done. Yep. Nice smoke. He was stuck against the wall. He didn't have anywhere to really run around with it. So there is still 40 seconds in this hill. Yep. And this is this is left. just an all-out war for this middle this middle map control. Mantle kick on. after mantle insane. kick. Back to back action on the Moultrie Hill. The fathering actually going to be able to resecure it. Here comes CD and in the silverback though. Fallout Camille's in a one v one. Let's get on that silverback. See what's going on outside. Oh, CDN I missed it. CDN getting a double silverback, silverback kill. Yeah, all four dead. I don't know. That, uh, there's about 26 seconds left. It's not, I don't think it is enough. And they for spawn. Them to get it. They're going to be coming on the left, MBN, on the right side. The from Caesar. And he can't figure it out. No, he he did not read the silverback manual apparently because he, he could not the shoot the rockets. Manual. I think he, he might have been out of rockets. You know how long that takes to reload. But MBN has not gotten a break. Two dead oh, for MBN. 
there's a uh, looks like the father's gonna get this hit with about oh my god Camille where are you Huge going stopped in his tracks exactly Camille's playing great the fathering is playing flawless so far and King of the Hill Russell Camille's gonna take out Prospect we have a process. new hill and yeah. they're already going to cap it. Yeah, here comes Nick. Five seconds, and this is going to be the Five first seconds. map. Said, the Fathering coming out strong. The Fathering going to take this out. And with the Cold chainsaw. The chainsaw, Nick, and here we go. Great, the Fathering great gameplay from the Fathering. One, three, five, and seven. We will be featuring the sniper underneath the bell tower, the digger outside off the alley, and the frag grenades in the middle. Then round two, we get down and jiggy. We have the torque bow. We have the boom shot. We have inks and incendiary grenades. All right, and just like I said, right off the bat, Scott, we're getting a three right over to uh, to the sniper from the murder by number team. So Ooh. prospect getting in there to pick up that quick uh, that quick Ooh. kill. Carson opening up this match and trading wow. off with fallout. Plow Daddy Carson's picking off a quick two-piece uh, against his murder by number team. And it's looking like Rick and Carson are going to go ahead and try to pin down uh, Nick and Prospect. Oh, oh Rick gets a quick and, this, and Nick is not going to be getting out any, anywhere because CDN is right on top of with the Lancer. And it's looking oh, like no, the look man coming in, but it doesn't matter. There's the plenty of support from the, from the Bull Camille's himself. And the fathering taking the first round on execution. Old Town. Envious murder by numbers. Nick Merckx trying to pull out all the stops he can. He had CDN in on him, and he also had, you know, two other guys just staring him directly in the face. Hits one guy with a mantle kick and hits the other with a lancer, doing everything he can. All right, we're going to take a quick Astro listen in with the follower, and stay tuned. Wait, I got my guy, boom, I got my guy. Statue, 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 statue. On gate, on statue gate, on statue gate. Watch your cross, and boom. Rec got one, Rec got one. Last kid's going up top into their scorcher. He's Anybody here? Into Whoa! The what? Like John, in what? Up top, up top. Last kid's in the castle. Up top, 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 He's going nades. He's pushing, pushing. Nades, nades, nades. He's going bolt He's in He's in He's in Down him. Bolt talk, bolt talk. Downing and bolt talk. Downing and bolt talk. Got him! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, Rack. Let's go, Rack. Rack, let's go. Come on, Rack. Let's go, let's go. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on. What are we doing? What are we doing? One to one? One to one? Yeah, 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 you no, fucking no, no, handle that. Yeah, one, two, one. Fucking handle that. Course. No, 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 no. Do a three, one again. They three, didn't, they, yo, they didn't ah, fall for my bait. They didn't fall for my bait. Yeah, that's a good three, idea. Three, do a three, one again. I want them to bait. Follow for okay, fall, okay, fall for okay. it. Okay. You guys got to play it though. Three, two, two, two mid, two mid, two mid. Go on pumpkin. Go on pumpkin. Weak. He's contesting Carson's on pumpkin. He's falling back though. He's falling back though. He's in mid map. Four at. There's one fish. One at Lancer. One at uh, one at sniper. One down at sniper. One's down at sniper. One has sniper. One's down at sniper. Sniper is still up. Middle of the map. Nice. One's behind you. One's behind you. He needs help. He needs help. He needs help. Watch sniper. Watch sniper. Watch sniper. Watch sniper. Watch sniper. sniper is up. You guys can get that guy. You guys can get that guy. Oh, I'm in able. Nice. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm gonna be down. I'm gonna be down. Get us up. Get us up. Get us up. You gotta get us up. There you go. Fuck. Get out. Get out. Get out. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Yo, just get us up next time. Just get too quick. Yeah. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got, we got, we got. The other team. Go to the Alright, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right back on or we're gonna go ahead and jump right in the murder by numbers side of things. Oh, but right before I have a quick update. SYN has eliminated Ruffled Feathers. They will be Ooh, playing. Wow. Wow. Yeah. They are now. I, why in would the you top even six? break that news before we get I ready to jump to. back into a listening? When we get back. I got I'm gonna have him. I got my guy middle, I got my guy. Might be working. Might be working behind. I think this guy. I think that's bottom. Jimmy, snipe. watch our back. Jimmy, watch our back. Jimmy, definitely watch our back. Bowl's bottom snipe. Yeah, yep, I see him. I see him. No, I think he's. I, Jimmy, just, snipe? just listen. Just keep it down. Keep it down a little bit. Listen. He loaded. He reloaded bow. He reloaded bow. Yep, we got a guy. I'm pretty sure he's low side, Shane. I'm not positive. Second guy we got. We got to see him sure. first. I thought I saw somebody. I saw a cop digger. All right, here I go. I'm gonna fake it. I haven't seen. There's, there's a guy down there. There's a guy down there. Yeah. Wait, Shane. You. I see that guy. Have somebody else fake it first. Don't. Yeah, yeah, Carmine has bow. He only has one boat left. Not, you can't not have too many. Yeah. You can't have too many one left. One if not zero. Let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get towards this middle. I'm gonna get towards no. this middle, Nick. That's fine. I'm gonna push your snipe. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I fake. think you should push snipe. Yeah, get up Jimmy on this cover. Get up Jimmy on this cover. Alright, I'm with you. Yeah, he, Shane, he, Shane, he's right here. One's yeah, one's yeah, one's I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he's right here. One's on snipe. One's on snipe. Looking. This guy's bow out. 
I'll tell you if he's at the door. I'll tell you if he's at the door. You gotta still watch your back. We still have to watch our back. I think he's behind us. Start playing it. Start playing with it. Mark. Can I hit the, can I hit the top of the screen? No, no, that's Bojami. That's Bojami. No, no, you can have it. Yeah, it does. Play with it. Play with it. Play with it. Play with it. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. From what? Bojami. Bojami's driving. Watch your backs, guys. We know where the second guy's at. That full, full way, go, go, shoot. Okay, no, 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 last guy, last guy. That's not bull. Uh, yeah, That's not bull. Behind me, behind me, behind me. They come on me. He, everyone, in the middle, in the middle. Behind me, behind me. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Fucking go, baby. Come on. It's a good shit in the middle, Nick. Shit, boom, guys. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Good shit. Good shit. Man, Nick Merck's going hammer right there. Man, if. People would have just stayed alive for just a split second longer. Requiem for a dream, man, was in a crazy spot to get a nice flank. And as we saw, he was actually able to make, uh, he was actually able to take one with him, but it was just uh, not enough. And I can't believe how fast and violent this game is, uh, as is now tied 2-2 to the series, the fathering versus murder by numbers. It's funny how Prospect's gut instinct was completely correct and Nick Merckx's wasn't. I thought that was awesome. We were sitting there seeing it, and now as I'm babbling, Camels is going to come in, take out two members. Fallout and High Distortion will go down. Prospect has picked up that sniper rifle, and now he is going to reposition himself back over there. He is looking to get a shot somewhere, but he is climbing uphill at this point. Four on two situation. He is going. He is down low. He does not have elevation. Nick Merck's trying to get an easy kill, and Reck is going to turn and answer with the digger. Yeah, you know what? I'm not really too sure what's going on with this Murder by Numbers team. They are not able to control. They are not able to control that middle at all, and they keep trying to get a sniper in Prospect's hands. It's uh, just really not making too much sense to me. You know, considering that the sniper seems to be really difficult to use uh, here on land, I haven't seen any real nice headshots wow. uh, um, yet. So, like I'm saying, Murder by Numbers continually trying to secure uh, uh, what would be almost a useless power weapon at this point. Yeah, I, I'm at this point in time. I would rather go for the digger than even look at the sniper yeah, rifle. Yeah, I mean, I'm in Terror, Terror has done a good job. He hasn't popped any heads, but he has been getting guys full red. But he's only been doing that oh when... Jesus, I can't believe we just saw that. But the, both of them are down. Prospect able oh to get no. up. He's not going to be able to do anything. Yeah. And uh, Prospect getting uh, able to take out Requiem, but CDN double made lane and... There goes the uh, there goes the down right there. Three to two in favor of the fathering. And sorry to cut you off like that, but Scott, yeah, you're 100 percent right. This MBN team is not controlling the middle at all. And uh, you know, just just as we saw, we saw Camille's come up and just completely plow them to the uh, pavement. Yep. Well, it is time to see what other tricks the fathering has in their tackle box as we take a look at the overhead map. So now. Really, they've been running the 3-1 here, and now we are seeing as it is going to be a 1-2-1 for the fathering. This is where Camille's and his buddy will be pushing into the middle lane. That's Carson's on the same flank time and time again. On this murder by number squad. Camille's is going to come in, clean up Nick Merckx. It is a three-on-two situation. He is full red, but they have to be careful because CDN is right there being a thorn in their side. Incredib incredible play. But when are they going to realize that Carson pushes nine times out of ten? Well, it's not so much that he pushes nine times out of ten. Carson's a really heads-up player. So when we're coming there in the market, you're going to make your decision to either push the guy on the statue or push the guy that's uh, actually on the pumpkins. So as he, I'm, I'm sure Carson saw that heads up that Fallout was actually lancering the guy that was on the pumpkins because Nick actually decided to play wide. And from there, he made that heads up play and completely plowed, uh, plowed through Fallout. And then as we saw, uh, Carson got picked off by the other guy that was right there on pumpkin, but it was just a, you know, it was just a complete chain of events because, uh, wow. because uh, they were able to secure that next kill. Well, that is why you are the expert, and I am just the play-by-play. -play. But nonetheless, Prospect with a long-range shot. He's going to pick up his second, and they will end up winning that round. They were down 3-2 to two in that situation. We are going to round number seven of our second winner's bracket semifinals match between Drew a blank. MBN versus the fathering. Envious and the yep. MBN. And that's actually the first time that I got to see uh, Shane with the boom shot in his hand. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I asked him, when I when I when he came in this uh, at the beginning of this tournament, I said, you know, Shane, hey, how's it going? Uh, you know, how are you feeling? What's good? What's going on with you? And he's like, you know, I'm feeling good. I said, well, what's up with your power weapon play? And he says, it's you know, it's it's improving. Uh, and as we can see, just making some real nice uh, some nice boom shots right there. Oh, MBN realizing that the fathering was going to go for a little bit of tomfoolery. They saved their smoke grenades and now they tried they were able to delay the push but nonetheless the fathering will be able to secure that sniper rifle and get it out of the hands of prospect who hasn't put it to use but nonetheless it is still just a statement but now it is since this is round seven 
the winner's bracket semifinals of our Hype, two, Hype Fest Station 2.0 event. I expect this to slow down drastically. Yep, absolutely. And we saw just for a split second, High Distortion actually at the top of uh, the boom, actually at the top of the boom ramp. And then... Uh, Realized that he was a little, or he was a little invested, and saw the the members of the follower and starting to uh, uh, back out. So I'm sure he's probably just down down at the bottom of their cubby. As you can see, just let go of uh, one digger, Ooh. and uh, go ahead and shoot over to the top snipe sandbag real quick. Mm. Here we see as Nick Merks and Prospect are trying to devise a devious nice. plan of pushing right through that snipe tower. But, unfortunately, the fathering have been around for so long, they know all the tricks of the trade. Yeah, absolutely. So, I guess we're just pretty much looking at a uh, 4v4 stalemated situation. Murder by numbers, uh, having two diggers left. And the fathering, uh, you know, with the controller of the sniper right now. Yep, now taking a look as we are just going to spin through all eight players. We have Requiem with the sniper. Here comes a push from Prospect, and he is just going to back that ass up. He was just testing the waters. Yeah, absolutely. It's luckily, luckily, uh, one of the members of the following wasn't hanging out there uh, a little bit closer on that top snipe sandbag. Otherwise, this this round would have turned very ugly for Murder by Numbers uh, with, with with one of the with that a little bit overextended fake push. Ooh, now I'm seeing action coming up the boom alleyway. One of the members of the uh, nope, nope. He is just hugging the wall. That is high distortion all the way over there. So now since the fake out has been done, J-Ribs, please bring me through. Oh, no, never mind. A two-man push through the middle. Nick Merckx, here comes the cover fire. They have been able to grab these grenades, and now it is time to see what they are going to do. Actually, they push back up top. So really, I think they are just going to wait to see if the members of MBN will push. But you have to remember, MBN has no real reason to push. They have one on the boom shot round every time, and if they just delay and draw the stalemate, they will have elevation and they will have the boom shot. Absolutely. I'm in full. I, I, definitely. <laughs> definitely. But it's I mean, surprising, just, isn't it? Yep, for sure. Yeah, just right now, I guess we're just kind of, kind of just in a big time stalemate situation. I wonder if they're going to go ahead and wait on on. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to wait on uh, Shane to actually try to make a quick play as uh, Prospect tries to locate another member of the following to uh, try to hopefully catch a headshot. Do you remember earlier today when we were talking about the snipe-on-snipe -snipe maps? Even though this is not a snipe-on-snipe -snipe map, we have a snipe-on-snipe -snipe situation. Requiem taking on Prospect. Now, Prospect has got the act of surprise here. He, they are not sure as to where he is going to be. Look at that mean face on him. He is just a mean mugger. So here is Camille's just going to be hanging out. And now Prospect just trying to scope around. Now Carson's has picked up a smoke grenade that spawns at the very top of his map. Now face in this situation, do you wait? Who makes the push? Is it the person with the frag grenades? Uh, well, you know, it depends. Yes, I want to say yes, but... Uh, I'd almost say, you know, get a, get a member, get a member of the following, you know, to make that that fake push, just to try to get some kind of locations, uh, you know, whether it be on the sniper or wherever the other members of Murder by Numbers is, and then from there we can get the nades out. And or you can always make that three v three v three v four kamikaze rush with those grenades. So just kind of throw them out of nowhere, and hopefully you can catch all four members of uh, all four members of Murder by Numbers uh, before they secure back or fall back out into spawn. Well, it is safe to say that MBN has no real reason to push at all. Agreed. They have won three rounds on the boom shot. By drawing this round out, they will be going back to elevation, and the boom shot will be spawning that round. The fathering clearly have not thought this out. And now because of that, we are seeing as this is the fake push where they act like they were going to push the whole game, you know? Yep. But really, they, MBN are just schemers. That that is all it is. Yeah, I'm I'm almost confident. I'm almost confident in saying that murder by numbers has just got done saying it's all right. Go ahead and catch a draw, catch a draw, because we know the boom shot's going to be coming up. And uh, you know what? We might as well shoot on into an astro listening on the murder by numbers side. I'm sorry, on the uh, on the uh, the fathering side, just to see if they know that they've been losing. They've been uh, they've been losing that that uh, boom shot round. Uh, uh, quite often, so well, hopefully and, well, that's all right. We won't take Barbosa's the listen in. Here. Yeah, it's all right. We won't take the listen in, but I'm expecting to see uh, some some different transitions out of this following team. All right. Well, J Ribs, get those fingers ready. <coughs> J Ribs, member of NBN, he's in the winners. Been here hanging out for for quite a while he's, now. He's a good guy. Oh, 
A 3-1 push here from the members of the Fathering towards the boom shot. They know this has been their Achilles heel. And now we are going to see an epic cross from the members of Envious MBN. Nick Merck should be rounding into the oh. middle with that incarnate anytime. Down goes Requiem. Carsons does have the boom shot. He has two members at the very top of the boom alleyway. He is just going to wait this one out. Another member is in the middle of the market, and Carsons has to be scared. Nick has the incendiary grenades, a swing and a miss. Ooh, and right there, Nick Merck's trying to lead that incendiary off right there. Uh, you know, being the all-seeing, all-knowing, mighty-faced god, uh, you know, we, I, <laughs> we knew that the uh, transitional play, the boom shot was going to happen. Unfortunately, they were able to secure boom, but that was without uh, letting Requiem fall down to one of those, uh, falling down to that ink grenade for middle. So, unfortunately, middle market for the father and team wasn't doing, uh, wasn't doing their job, uh, you know, with that proper support cross. And they lost Rec, which is right now one of their heavy hitters on their team. Yep. But nonetheless, face, uh, if you are the fathering, you have the torque bow in the hands of Prospect. Is he your prime target? Uh, right now, prime target is anybody that is moving and visible. Well, that makes sense. They are down a guy. They are looking to even up the odds. Keep in mind, Nick Merch does have those incendiary grenades. He is hiding in the middle of the market. So if someone or if anyone on the fathering is trying to make a push up Boom Alleyway, he has a direct throw from the mid market to the top where his teammates are. Can to I get, get an a, easy kill? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to make sure that high distortion actually was there and that. Oops, sorry. Uh, actually, they're in that top um, flame or scorcher, scorcher. area. Yep. Um, you know, just to make sure that if he wasn't there and the following actually missed it or didn't pay attention to that, mm -hmm. that, is, that is exactly where that map would have crumbled uh, for, for Murder by Numbers. Well, Murder by Numbers trying to secure every which way possible. Prospect now has relocated. He is waiting for the ammo on the torque bow, but he is also scouting this out. This has to be absolutely nerve-wracking. And I guess Nick Merckx has already thrown his incendiary grenades by picking up oh. those... By picking up those... Ink grenades? Oh, yeah. Oh, see, I didn't think they hit. Well, right. <laughs> oh, uh, Prospect actually almost getting faked out by one of the members of the father and hiding right there on the right-hand side. Uh, that would have been some pretty nice bait, and Prospect just kind of loading up them bows and firing them off, trying to get a lucky stick. And uh, Prospect finally let, letting them know that uh, there is a member oh, right there. Oh, no. Really great ink, and Prospect wow. still missing with the bows. You know, that is four clean, quick shots that he should have been able to make. Especially being the prospect that he is. He is the world-renowned power weapon controller of this MBN squad. Yep, exactly. So that's why, That's why. yes, there he goes. There uh, it is. Prospect picking up Carson. Carson's just going for a straight pickup. But, uh, yeah, you're very well right. Uh, Camille's able to kill Nick Merckx. Wow. And Nick Merckx able to kill off CDN the third. And I believe we're, we're tied at a 3-3 right now. And it is not looking too good for the fathering. This is guaranteed, unless some miraculous reason MBN has developed amnesia and forget how to play this three-on-one situation. They should be able to walk away with this. Camille's, you stand a no chance. MBN will even up the odds and tie it at one after that nail-biter execution on Old Town Map. Yeah, 4-3. Uh, you know, the fathering making a really, really nice uh, trade.